Hey guys, welcome back to Synapse. This is Ruthika and in this video, you'll know about nephritic syndrome. It is a clinical complex characterized by these three features. The hematuria is due to the capillary wall damage occurring due to inflammation. There is decreased GFR, which leads to oliguria. And now that there is no efficient removal of the nitrogenous products in the urine, the same gets accumulated in the blood which leads to azotemia. Hypertension is a third important characteristic of nephritic syndrome, and this is due to increased retention of the fluid and increased renin activity. The increased renin activity is in turn due to decreased GFR. The causes of nephritic syndrome can be studied as post-infectious glomerulonephritis, rapidly progressing glomerulonephritis, and IgA nephropathy. Talking about post-infectious glomerulonephritis, it is most commonly following streptococcal infection. Well, it could be following pneumococcal infection or any viral infection such as hepatitis infection, measles, mumps. But anyways, the most common one is post-streptococcal, where specific strains of group A beta hemolytic streptococcus is involved. So the patient presents to you with a history of skin infection or sore throat around one to four weeks ago which means it takes around one to four weeks after the onset of the infection for the nephritic syndrome to set in. So how does this happen? There is exposure to the streptococcal antigen for which the body is going to produce antibodies. Now this antigen antibody complex or the immune complexes are formed. These complexes get deposited sub uh, in the subepithelial sites as you can see here which can be seen as subepithelial humps microscopically. For better learning, there is a much more zoomed in picture here, where the deposits are seen adjacent to the porocyte layer, which is also called as the visceral epithelial layer. Now these deposits are going to activate the complement, complement system by classical pathway, which is going to lead to damage to the glomerulus, which is glomerulonephritis. Some microscopic features here are Increased cellularity due to proliferation of endothelial and mesangial cells. Diffuse involvement of glomeruli is seen. Subepithelial humps as already discussed. There's granular deposits of IgG and complement. The other features associated here are hematuria. As we already know, it is one of the characteristic features of nephritic syndrome in genre. So this presents a smoky brown colored urine and red casts when seen microscopically. There's hypocomplementemia because of excessive utilization of the complement proteins. There's also going to be increased titer of anti-streptolysin O antibody, which is the whole culprit. The next etiology of nephritic syndrome is rapidly progressing glomerulonephritis. As the name suggests, it progresses into renal failure within a few months if left untreated. So what we see here is that there is severe inflammation in the glomeruli leading to severe damage which leads to leakage of large protein molecules such as fibrinogen and thrombin. This along with WBC infiltration and parietal cell proliferation leads to crescent formation. What is crescent formation? This is how a glomeruli with crescent looks in contrast to a normal glomeruli. IgA nephropathy or Burgess disease is the next etiology of nephritic syndrome. This is commonly seen in young adults. What, uh, what happens here is that they have a history of non-specific upper respiratory tract infection, basically a mucosal infection. And as we know that the main antibody involved in mucosal and skin defense is IgA antibody. So there's increased production of IgA antibody. These immune complexes are going to get deposited in the mesangium which leads to the damage of the mesangium. One feature which is associated with IgA nephropathy is recurrent gross hematuria. This ends the discussion about nephritic syndrome. I hope it helped you. If it did, like and share the video. Do subscribe. And if you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comment.